Hey, 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 three string cigar box guitar. Uncle Mark in the mothership with uh, Jet Airliner, Steve Miller Band. Uh, this was originally written by Paul Pena. A uh, couple of uh, housekeeping things. We have three songbooks now. Three songbooks out. I am presently working on the fourth, but uh, we have three out. And uh, you can go to the link down below in the show notes if you want to purchase those. Also, I have free companion videos that go with those books. So definitely check that out. Some of those lessons I have not put on YouTube. So you can only find those on my website. Thank you for looking there, and thank you for buying the books. We're a 100% all-donation channel. I don't monetize on YouTube. I am only donation. So you are the ones that make this channel work. The lights, the guitar strings, the batteries for the cube, the insurance for the building, everything. It's all you. Thank you so much. This is Jet Airliner. This is the Steve Miller Band. This is how they do it. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> Jet airliner twice, and you got the whole song. But what do we got going on? G D G, forty-two, thirty-four, twenty-four. These are electric wound guitar strings. Those are the gauges. I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube, and uh, they're a lot of fun. It's on battery power, and uh, it's really nice. So, uh, what do we got going on here, chord-wise? G is open. G sharp, A, B flat. B flat is a chord in this song, and it's a bar chord or a pinch chord. I just kind of pinch it together like this. That's how I make those chords. I pinch, oops, hit a cymbal. So B flat, B, C, C is a chord in this song. C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and F. These are the three chords in this song. So this F is a 10th fret bar chord, C is a 5th fret bar chord, B flat is a 3rd fret bar chord. But what I want to do is instead of playing way up here and doing this big jump through the song, I want to play the F inversion. The F is 5-3-5. Five, five. And I really like doing this, so get your finger on that high G string, that treble G string 5th fret, first finger on the F note, that's the third fret of the D string, and bring your third finger over to that fifth fret. So it's five, three, five. You can play this song two different ways. You can go through this way, this way, this way, or this way, this way, this way. These are the three turns the, that you're gonna, the three chord turns that you're gonna need. C, either with your third finger, B flat with your first finger, and then F. So I tend to use my pinky. I have a really, really strong pinky, and I tend to bar it this way. So I'm kind of breaking that, trying to break the neck off the guitar. That's kind of how hard I'm pressing. So, those are the three shapes, C, B flat, F. 
Now, you can play this song just down, down, down. I kind of hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. So there's that gap in between these chords. So I want you to think of it as a little bit of a space. So you're going to go big old jetty liner. Don't carry me too far away. So a lot of times when I'm sitting and playing, I'll use my, my leg to stop. I'll do that. And it gets me kind of in the space I need to be so that when I'm playing this standing up, I understand that I stop at the edge of my box with this downstroke. So when you're on this C, you can kind of default to this rock and roll rhythm. The only problem is you have to have your first finger here on this C chord doing that bar and then come down. So from here, what I do is elbow out, grab that D string, slide down to F, elbow in. That would be reverse. This is forward. C, D string, slide down two frets, and come up. And that's the, the fastest way to do this. And if you're not familiar with this F chord, it's really cool. Use it a lot and just start doing it this way. Okay? You're going to find that's the fastest way to learn it. Uh, after you get it for a while, you'll just be you'll just be going back and forth, and and you'll forget that you had trouble learning it. Trust me, in a couple of weeks, you'll have this shape down with that C chord, that C F. You can also play this F up here, and I do in the second part of this thing. So what I do is is I'll go. when I play this live, I like that. So I think that's very fun. And that's just the rock and roll rhythm here. I am just pressing down on that D note. I really like that when I play this live. So the intro. <laughs> this is easy, folks. This is the backwards minor pentatonic scale. What is a pentatonic scale? A pentatonic scale is a scale with five notes in it. So what you're used to is, is do, re, do, re, mi, ba, so, la, ti, do. That's a seven note scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So that's a seven note scale. The pentatonic scale, it's a minor pentatonic, but we don't worry about minors on a cigar box guitar. We just don't, so don't even think about it. Our pentatonic scale has one, two, three, four, five notes. So it looks like this. 
you can slide up to that G or you can slide up to the F. Up to you. But we're going to play this backwards. C, B flat, G, slide to this F. A flat, C. Now, whether you call this a D sharp, an A flat, doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I mix it up and call this a B flat and that a D sharp, and I know that's wrong, but that's what I do. I just don't care. I, I am not so bound to theory that it interferes with my playing. So, you're playing it backwards. One, two, three, four, five, one. You're going to play it one, five, four, three, two, one. Now, I go from this G to that F really fast. So it sounds like two notes, but it's really one hit on the pick. But all it is is C, B flat or A sharp, G, F, D sharp, A flat, C. my leg there with that those hits and I'm using this rock and roll rhythm which is really that C bar with my uh, third finger on that A note that's the seventh fret D string that's an A note so that's really what this song is about so I want you to think first I want you to to, to get the chords down so these three chords C B flat and F and then work on this minor pentatonic backwards and forwards. Because you're going to use it backwards. Now, if you notice, you do this a few times. So how do you go from that C to this C. So watch what I'm doing here. So when I'm here, I come over and I hit the note with this part of my finger. So watch it this angle and you'll see what I mean. Alright. So, cool song to play. Definitely look at the companion video. Um, songbooks, this is how I learned how to, how to sing and play, using songbooks. We, uh, Tess and I have three of them out. We are working on number four as we speak. I have it on the computer, and I'm looking at that right now. Thank you so much for everything you do for us here. Um, lots of information in the show notes. Gear recommendations, um, instruments, all kinds of stuff. Please take a look at that. Donation links. You are the reason we exist. We don't take money from YouTube, Google, or any ads. It's all about you, and we really appreciate it. So thank you so much for your generous support, and we'll see you again soon.